it comes from a very rural village of uh, Kerala. It's from Kannur, North and Kerala. And then I did my master's in computer applications and then I went to work in Chennai. So I was working as an IT professional in Chennai. That's when I went with this accident and I enjoyed my spinal cord. And uh, I got this C5, C6 injury. So I couldn't use my uh, hands also. So it was very difficult and then we went to different hospitals and we stayed in one physiotherapy center for almost three years so that I could get some quality physiotherapy and then after that I was able to sit up for a long time. I was able to sit up myself and then work also on that. So that's all I learned from uh, then and there and that's when after that only I came to Valley it was a time when we were actually discussing about we have to go back home. We, we can't keep staying in a private hospital and paying that much of amount and we didn't have that money also. So and mom was asking about okay let's go home and I don't know what is waiting there. But I knew that there is nothing waiting there for me. So I, I never wanted to go back home and sit there. Like simply watch TV and while away my time and waiting for death to come. So I didn't want to do that. So I thought, okay, let me search for some place wherein I'll be of some help and then I'll also get the help which I need. Like I need help with everything, like uh, all daily activities and then to shift me from bed to wheelchair and everything. So I thought maybe some children's uh, like home where they'll have uh, like nurses to help them. So they'll help me also and I'll be able to teach the children something basics of English or maths. I'll be able to interact with them and do something for them. Or maybe to an old age care home wherein I also get the help which I need and I, I can read newspaper or books for those uh, people who are there who are interested to know the things but are not able to read it now. There would be people like this. So I was thinking about in that line and we kept searching. It wasn't a good uh, like experience but then Finally, we came to know about Valley India. I wrote an email to Dr. Ajahn and he said he called me immediately. Okay, let's see what are the possibilities and next, within two months, I was here. Like, I've always seen my, uh, like, mother struggling with my, uh, like, caring for me. And then I always felt uh, that kind of a, like, little bit guilty that I am keeping her always uh, stuck with me. And she doesn't have any uh, like life of her own. She's stuck in that one room for me always because I, I go out and work and for that she has to be uh, in the room caring for me always. So I always felt that. And then you know what is interesting is like when she takes some uh, like kind of break and go to my elder sister's home, she herself feels guilty that okay she is leaving me alone. And in the moment she is there, people ask, okay, where is Ashla? What, like, who is with her? And left her with a calmness, as if it's a crime. And that's so sad. So I, I always feel that people will have to acknowledge that, okay, we have to acknowledge that, okay, they do an important work and they also have a right, genuine right to have time for themselves and then, so that they, they don't feel guilty about taking time for their own care self-care. They don't understand the need of that or importance of that and they sometimes get like, uh, they'll be tired and they'll be uh, torn out of that. So really, and then uh, compassion fatigue also can happen. Like we fight or we get angry uh, on each other. You are a person and you have your own likes and dislikes and then your own preferences also. You uh, take care of your uh, children. That is that is there and that is I acknowledge that and that's very much part of your life. But please, please, please remember that you also have a right to have your own time. Please use that and please take that time. Mm-hmm. My mom was in there at that time. She went my elder sister's home so I told them my mother is there and this is what exactly happens whenever she goes somewhere they all ask them and then they will all uh, like put all this guilt feeling into her also so I told them then like at least your children are having good time here and then we have 
provisions for uh, caring for them when you are ill. So have take some time off for yourself. And you know, they both went for uh, two of them went for uh, shopping and then went out to the city for two days. And they were smiling so happily when we met next, and they told they called me out saying that hey, you know, we went to the city and did some shopping and it was. a uh, good time and thank you for uh, suggesting that so it, it didn't take anything for me it was just for me acknowledging that okay they do a good work and they deserve that and they really think that that showed in their faces also and children were also happy to be away with them uh, from them and then to be with us and uh, do things so it happens both ways they also be happy to have some time for them Rest of the life healthier for both sides. The one who is receiving the care and the caring person. We don't have the human beings, and it's not an easy task to do. So I think what you try to do from caregivers at the is very important. Please do acknowledge them and then tell them that okay, you also have a right to have time for yourself. It's not just a movie. Like always behind and never. my mom when she gets an opportunity to talk about nobody asks like yeah of course she is uh, like cared for here and acknowledged here but still we will not be uh, like, i get all that attention of course for sure and then she is the one who is making me like if i sit here this time smiling that's that's because of her without her uh, we wouldn't have i wouldn't have been able to do any of this thing but always i get recognized and she never comes into the picture at all no it happens to everyone i think it is you know the saddest part if not for that like she was at least asked what her name is and how she is coping up and how is she doing and about when she came to bali before that we were in different hospitals for four years almost four years and only when she got some uh, dengue fever and then she had some headache or giddiness that that time she was a patient and she was attended otherwise as ashla's mom nobody asked her how she is or how he is uh, she is coping up what is she trying to do nothing no support or nobody asked her even i when i was surprised when dr rajiv over last week he was the first one uh, who asked um, how are you how are you doing how do you seem to care for ashla how do you feel coming here because we left everything and came to trivandra so that was a big decision for her also to come again to come and stay with me and